everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about how to have custom social icons um, throughout your site. So in a previous video I've talked about how to replace the social icons in the header as well as how to replace the cart icon in the header and you can check out those videos on my blog. But today we're going to be talking about how to replace the social icons or have custom social icons on other places of your site. So for instance, if I wanna replace this link icon um, with the logo of the platform that I'm using or I wanna replace one of these others with a different logo, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So the first thing you need to do is to prepare the image itself. It works best if this image is square. You can do this by going into Canva. So if you have a logo that is not a square image, just go into Canva and create a custom image that's like maybe 100 pixels by 100 pixels and then copy and paste the logo in there and center it. And that way you then have a square copy of that logo. Once you have it all prepared, you're going to go to design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the code listed below this video. You should see the first image disappear and that is because I have it set to replace the first image. So what you're going to need to do to customize this is scroll down till you see manage custom files, click on that, and then add the image that you've prepared. So I have prepared a like Airbnb logo Then you're going to delete the words image URL. Make sure your cursor is placed between the brackets and then just click on the image that you uploaded. And it will automatically input the URL for that image. And you'll see that now the Airbnb logo is replacing that first image. Now, if you don't want it to replace the first one, maybe it's the second or third one, all you need to do is change this one to a two or a three and it will place um, the number that you've used. If your image is not square and maybe it's stretched a little funkier, it's overlapping, um, what you can do is change this 100% to be the two numbers representing width and height. So for instance, you can do 20 pixels by 25 pixels. So mine's a square image, so you'll see it's stretched a little funny here, um, but you can use a height and width instead Otherwise, you can just stick with the 100%, um, but just match it to be the ratio of the image that you have used. And that is how you have a custom social icon throughout your Squarespace website. 